The ice bucket challenge finally spread to City Hall with the mayor taking the plunge in Civic Plaza. The local ALS chapter says the challenge has been good for more than just a laugh. News 13's Alex Goldsmith has the story. You sure you want to do this? Absolutely. The anticipation. The drama. Ready? The payoff. <laughs> the aftermath. It was dang cold. It was really cold, so I don't know what the ice to water ratio was, but man, it was cold. Mayor Barry took his turn getting an ice bath in stride. Estoy mojado. Following in the footsteps of presidents Ow. and athletes. Oh. But it's more than just a viral video. The mayor's office chipped in 300 bucks to the ALS Association, too. Since July 29th, we've seen $41.9 million coming in through contributions across the country. Carrie Copeland with the New Mexico chapter says the challenge has brought in more than just dollars. The phones have been ringing a lot more. We've gotten some new volunteers to the organization. I think it started a conversation for people that hasn't existed since 1939 when Lou Gehrig gave his luckiest man alive speech. That conversation can be hard to have given how debilitating and truly scary the disease is. Individuals living with it slowly lose their independence, their ability to walk, any hand dexterity, chew, swallow. Copeland says she knows the ice bucket craze can't last, but the organization is enjoying the attention while it can. It's a windfall, it's a blessing, it's something that we just couldn't even imagine happening. Alex Goldsmith, KRQE, News 13.